Good morning everyone. Today is officially the last day of the spring term and if it had been a normal term I guess it's fair to say that both, both uh, pupils and staff alike would be looking forward to a very well-deserved Easter holiday. In truth this is unlike any term any of us have ever experienced and our priorities have had to quickly fall in line with the national effort to save lives as we look after the children of, of key workers and we've had to collectively and, and rather rapidly uh, at the same time design a new system for school within the framework of this different set of priorities. I have to say that I just simply could not be prouder of the way colleagues and pupils alike have adapted in a really short space of time. Mindful as well that many people are still struggling to get the balance right. This has been a really important week to test our remote learning program in our efforts to ensure that all of the boys and girls at Truro School can continue at home to enjoy the breadth and balance of education that we so want for you. And we're extra mindful, in fact, at this time of the mental and emotional well-being of everyone being isolated at home and away from their friends. At the same time, actually, it's been really important for us to ensure that the school environment is safe. It's safe from infection and from, from all other risks so that we can look after the children of key workers and staff who've been here every day. In the last week, I think we've had between 25 and, and 58 children of key workers across both the prep and senior school sites and we're very pleased to be able to do our bit uh, for that effort. Walking into school this morning uh, to make uh, this video was a strange experience because it feels such a different place without the cheerful sound of all of our boys and girls. Uh, I was thinking about the catchy words of the, uh, that well-known song by Joni Mitchell you don't know what you've lost till it's gone and I've been reflecting on Truro School as a place that a, a glue that binds people together uh, that uh, it's a community from which I know many of you and indeed me draw strength and comfort. Human beings thrive in community and I think it's really difficult for all of us to feel somehow less connected from the school to what we've always been. Well the good news is we're not going anywhere and I think the manner in which people have responded to this crisis gives me such faith in the strength of our Truro School community. Levels of anxiety have been, have been high for all of us and there are many people who need our support at this time. And actually we've been doing our bit to see if we can help in the local community as well. Uh, right now we're working with a local charity to see if our kitchen facilities can't be used to help to prepare, to vacuum pack and to, to distribute meals around the county to vulnerable families and, and those children who are eligible for free school meals. There's also a need much closer to home to work with many of our own parents whose businesses have been hugely impacted by the shutdown and we want to be able to be here to support you as well. In truth, now more than ever we need to look beyond ourselves and in the words of John Wesley, to do all the good that we can. And in truth, we also need your support. We've just celebrated our 140th birthday party this year. And I, for one, am going to be doing all that I can to make sure that I'm on the list for the invitation for the 150th birthday party in a decade's time. My goodness, have we learned a lot in a very short space of time about remote lessons. The collaboration between our departments has been superb and I'm really grateful for the feedback, but also for the understanding from pupils and parents to this new way of working. Not everything will have gone as smoothly as we wanted, but please know that everyone here will be doing their very best to provide an excellent learning experience for all of our students. I guess it's fair to say that remote learning has been a, a bit of a novelty this week, but we need to make sure that this settles down over the coming weeks into a sustainable pattern each day that works well for students. Everyone's circumstances are different, but we're here to make sure that we engage with all of our students that they need to be stimulated and active, but also that the schoolwork that's set for you doesn't add to the stress and strain at home right now. Your mental health and general well-being are just as important and I know that your form tutors, 
the Rev, uh, Nurse Mel, our school counsellor, they're all looking out for you. Going into the Easter holidays, our fifth year and upper six students uh, face particular uncertainty around how their exam grades are going to be determined. All I would say to you at this stage is please don't worry about that. There's a cast iron commitment to make sure that the process is fair. I'm also really confident that our teachers know you really well and are going to be bringing their judgment to bear on ensuring that you're portrayed in the very best possible light. The professional judgment of our teachers is going to be of paramount importance in this process because according to Ofqual, one of the judgments is going to be the grade that you were likely to have got had you sat the exam. And with this in mind, uh, it's really important and I would urge you to keep engaging with your teachers and to do the very best um, in the work that's being set for you. The announcement from Ofqual will come next week. But anything you can do over the coming weeks to keep up the momentum and add to the evidence base to support your exam, your exam grades can only be a positive thing. Clearly the situation is going to be different, student by student, subject by subject. But one thing that you can be assured of is that next term our teachers are going to be doing all that they can working for you to um, present you in the best light. For the upper sixth as well, it's going to be important that our guidance program continues uh, to talk to you about your next steps into university and beyond. And for our fifth year students, actually with the immediate pressure of exams behind us, I'm rather excited about what we can do later in the term to make a start with some A-level material and perhaps even get you thinking about uh, an extended project qualification which um, can only positively feed into your own university applications uh, when that time comes. But there's plenty of time for us to be thinking about those things and other enrichment programs after the Easter holidays. Despite the dark days that we face right now, I'm sure that the values that have made Truro School prosper will hold us together when this crisis passes, and it will pass. So thank you again for your extraordinary efforts at this time, and stay safe.